first stage is Pokemon Stadium 2. It's obviously going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. Mm -hmm. See the stars there? Oh, I see yep. <laughs> Ridley DDD. Now that I think about it, I think I already saw Backbone and there is the... I don't know, I remember where, but I... The, 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 the name rings a bell now that I think about it. So it's going to be a heavy, heavy, heavy. <laughs> with a lot of like apostrophes uh, uh, here and there. It's going to be a DDD against a uh, Ridley match. That it is. It is a early morning in the UK. So of course we're coming out with two weirdo characters that we love to see right here in Leicestershire. And it's going to be a very early lead from Strong Pig. I like the use of Gordos controlling a lot of space. And in fact. They're making this slow penguin look like an overwhelming force. Background has barely been able to get a hit in Nico. Well, the thing is, with a hammer like this, it's really pretty hard for, for the strong pick to miss uh, Ridley. And obviously, you can see the damage already ramping up because there's going to be shenanigans with that uh, Gordo here and there, just like this one. I mean, he got hit, but not that much in the end. Fireball just to avoid any. Oh. Going to get edge guarded by a DDD. That's not a strong pick we got there, that's a strong penguin already. Uh-huh, definitely. It's a very, very nice lead from Strong Pig to start off with. Bankbone isn't exactly too far behind. Is getting a little bit of percent here, but it's all done basically in chip. There's a little bit of almost like, really isn't stubby, right? But yeah. like there's a little bit of it's showing against DDD. That disjoint is doing wonders at keeping Bankbone at just the right range away where you can keep up pressure but not take it back. Which is kind of weird considering, again, when you think about the range, really should have it. Mm -hmm. With the sweet spot on the third, the sweet spot on the near. It would be way easier for Ridley to get off of these situations and specifically try to edge guard uh, to try and get back on stage. How you know you're dead? But what are you hitting? Going for ghost this time around. Back one is great. Just going to let Strong Pig reset the whole situation. Where are you going? Yeah, nowhere but the blast zone, maybe? No, Strong Pig does live on. This first stock is doing wonders for the Penguin as Backbone is left just trying to find this kill. The next shot could do it, and there it is, the back end. From both of them, back end is being a very competent kill. Yeah, but at what cost did you see that already going in with 122% still counting, and now he needs to get back on the stage while avoiding the range of this hammer. There we are, going for a cheeky side beat, going to get punished, and the, the lead that Strong Pig had is still there, a full stock lead now. Oh! Never mind, never, never mind, never, and he, and he taunts in real life, he did he taunt in real life, is he going to get bodied in real life too now, that's a question. We'll see, Strong Pig obviously not taking that one, sitting down 51% straight away in rebuttal, and what a recovery as well, Backbone using this kind of like little bit of knowledge about the matchup, my recovery is a hitbox, your Gordos are completely nullified by hitboxes, I can do this back to stage where it would normally be unsafe, but your character is enabling me, that's the kind of knowledge I love to see. Yeah, I'd love to see it too. And now it's time to go for some good edge guard from the oh. oh, wait, this guy. No! He hey! <laughs> Call it up and let's stop for me! <laughs> love it, love it. Game is even between these two heavy boys now, and it's going to be a game of golders, I think. It almost it is. It's, it's, it's like tennis, it's ping pong, backwards and forwards. Same with the fireballs as well. You can see already how Strong Pig is just trying to get in the middle of the stage again. The back one is just... Oh my goodness, that was a very cheeky fireball again. And this situation just got reversed. We're going to get a stage control to Strong Pig up to the point where finally back one makes it back. And this Strong Pig on the ledge again. Oh, that's massive. No, he's too heavy. He's too heavy. Oh, yeah, wow. He, he will survive this one. The next one, though, that's the question. Yeah, that doesn't man. have any more jumps going for the up B. Gonna have to. Backbone doesn't find the spike this time. It's a very ballsy way to try and snuff out ADD recovery. It doesn't fight, find the target, even on repeat as well. It's just more damage. 176, 184. This penguin is refusing to die. Has to make it back to the ledge, has to make it back to the stage. Does find it. The up air, no way that kills there. Backbone does live on. This game is just going on for ages, Nico. It is indeed, and now we are avoiding the Gordo. No grab is going to kill this penguin either. I think whether the down throw can be enough. Avoiding the Gordo again with that in now. This is the wall of gold. So obviously, the next thing Gordo could be enough to get a kill. Oh, a hammer in the face. This one will be enough. After a very tense first game, it seems like Strong Peak will take the stock and take the game. Yeah, that was in his hands. That game was in his hands up to the point he wasn't. And the game, do you remember the stock too, where he just got spiked at what, 0% mm -hmm. or 2%? It literally or goes to the ledge at 0 and bites dies, the bullet and for it. it. Implodes. I, what is he writing down? What is JJ writing down? Can you write, read his notes for a sec? Oh, he's, he's taking notes of what sets are happening for VOD reasons. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. He's got too much energy. <laughs> See that guy here? That's another penguin you got. <laughs> yeah, that one. Over that was who we were talking about earlier. <laughs> this is Dave. This is Naturals we got here. The ping, the original penguin. You know, like the OG penguin. Yeah. But yeah, one O here for Strong Pig. Backbone will have to show how he really can 
pull it up again with those tricks, for sure. He's mm -hmm. going to use tricks again. But maybe more like with his neutral control and everything. Maybe try to go more for reaction instead of predictions. Because we've seen him chasing ghosts a few times here and there. Going for options that were very cheeky, but didn't get him anything in the other, at the end of the day. So, yeah. I think there's a lot of tricks in DDD's arsenal that really does like lean into that mode. Like, the DDD down B is something that every single one will go for a ledge a couple times. Just really testing whether you fall for it. And strong pick is no different. You want to go for those kind of things. Because if you find it, it's a very easy stock. Same as what we saw with Backbone with Upbeat. So, now they've got that first game stowed away. That download is locked into play. And this first stock might be locked away pretty soon. That Gordo as well. Ricocheting off Ridley and then taking the ledge. That's free control, baby. Given straight over to Strong Pig. Indeed. And now we can see already the stage control from Strong Pig. He's going to keep that ledge for years. Oh my goodness. That like it would have been enough. It falls. He's going to get punished. Even there. He's one. Oh, 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 okay. Sure. sure. We get it. Okay. Terrific. Game is even. Surprisingly again. So Backbone managed to pull something up. Yeah, get stuck on the platform is never a place you really want to be on town. With those blasters, they're silent. They're far away when you're in the middle of the stage, but if you're on those platforms, they're really, really close. And these two, yeah, they're heavy, yeah, they're bulky, but it also comes in roundabouts. They also hit like a truck. And Strong Pig showing off the fact that that hammer is a force to be reckoned with, 73%, and it's only going up. You're off in the ether of the side. You need to make it back with your feet on the ground, Backbone, because you cannot really afford to play that platform for long. Yeah, it's just, yeah I'm surprised Backbone does have something to, to, to get back on the stage, considering he does have the air uh, drift. Just to avoid that penguin trying to get above it, trying to get below it in some situations. Finally, some good adjust situations, except again, we are getting, going to get a nail on that shield. There's a lot of good catches by Trumping here and there. It's the best of five, obviously, so both can adapt, both can change their habits. But since, like, for now, Trumping does have the upper hand. Yeah, I love the match there, just to get out of that side B. You do not want to drop down a game in pools. Obviously, it's the notion, right? You drown in pools. You're trying your best to stay away from that, and every game lost is a little tick in the box towards it. So we're in a fight, basically, to keep your pride alive. Backbone really wants to get this stock in soon, but Strong Pig finds a hammer for their troubles. Another one going to... Another rain of fireballs just tried to cover the edge guard. Oh! <laughs> that was a rig grab, and you did extend those wings, so that's on you, Mike. Yeah, just about. It catches lead, you can, you can jump with it, catch a jump, you can catch a roll in. That's the thing with DD Downbeat. It feels like a gimmick, but it is a pure option select. And if you're good at reacting, you really, really can. What are you giving me that look for? That's a gimmick. It is? Okay, it's, that's an upstroke selling gimmick, but that's still a gimmick. <laughs> gimmicks exist, but gimmicks can be good as well. Fair enough. It can go both ways. Again, if he can avoid those swings, he does manage to find another cheeky nail. And again, this is kind of a good way to punish all the shields that Strong Pig has, uh, sorry, Backbone has been pulling off every time he's on the ground and sees that his upper, his back, his nail doesn't do anything. Is he going to go for the good DI? Yes, and he's going for, for the downer just to get on the land quickly. And the damage has been ramping up already 114%, and he said if both players can get a kill quickly, and this is going to be it. With that fair, Strong Pig in a very strong uh, presence this time on game two, just Proving again that he had the upper hand on game one, he still has it on game two. Yeah, definitely. 2 up, and obviously, this is regen. Everything is best of five. First three. So Strong Pig needs to get one game away to take this away. The backbone really has a bit of a mountain climbing here. Maybe he still has some backbone in him. Yeah, all right. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen. It really was. It really was. You don't give us a tag like that and expect it not to happen. But they've actually changed over to a minmin. Um, now that's a different story. I I have played this matchup before, and I will say that it is. The funny thing is, I think minmin can get matchup checked by DDD, which is a crazy thing to say. Yeah. But you need to know this very specifically because. Your arms are committed. If you send out both, or even like just a megawatt, you are stuck in that animation. Well, obviously, if you burn all your ammo, you're going to be kind of like a city duck. I do agree, but it's like one out of how many situations? So this is what I was going to get to, right? The thing <laughs> with, again, is DDD, you need to know the matchup because while that Gordo is in his hand, you can't actually reflect it yet. Right, so this if is one of how many situations? I got completely domed in a set by this, Nico. That's, You've got to understand. That's on you. That's I on know, you. but I'm trying to share my knowledge. So you actually can't very comfortably reflect back autos by tossing out hitboxes like before. You have to play a bit more patient around it. It happens more than you think. You know what? Alex. Oh, I, you bet. I, I will let you die on that hill. I will let you die on that hill okay, alone. Man. All right. Not alone. No. Take my gun. I'm going, I'm going to see you from down there, okay? <laughs> I bet you it will happen once this set that a Gordo will get hit while it's in DDD's hand and then it will come and hit the hit back mode anyway. It's happened. telling you. 
one in the set. All right. <laughs> There's a set avoiding here. The up smash with the, the, the down and then the up smash. Thank goodness. These, these people do not want to die. And it seems like Strong Pig again is just going to use that heavy armor, let's say. Never mind. Heavy armor like low pro, uh, plot, pro, uh, plot armor. Or plot armor. Of course. Uh, honestly, yeah, look, looking a hell of a lot better for Backbone than the Ridley was, but you're still stuck in that option select scenario. Do you roll in? Strongly can probably turn. Do you get up attack? Strongly can just let rip. Do you jump? He can jump as well. You really need to try and work out what it is Strongly wants from that scenario and react and respond. And Backbone, just taking the wrong option, has been reset back to neutral. It wasn't indeed in his hand. Don't point at the screen. I don't want to hear it. Me pointing at the screen? I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I even point at the screen? You, you, no, the yeah. Alex, you, you're, you're assuming things here. I, I, I would never do something like this. There's a camera on us. We can, we can pull back. What, what camera are you talking about? I don't see any camera. Uh, the Captain JJ is looking like wonder, uh, wondering what, uh, what we're talking about. I really about. like the use of the upbeat there in the middle of the stage <laughs> to try and reclaim some air control for Backbone. It's looking a lot more confident. What do you think, Nico? Uh, I think that uh, indeed right now it seems like Backbone did find a good counter, uh, counter uh, point here against strong, strong big presence. And again, pressing weight, uh, like pushing weight hurts because we know the Earth Rift or ZD is one of the worst in the game. So it's going to be pretty hard for strong big to avoid those arms if the backbone does manage to go for the good distance, go, go for the good spacing, obviously. Mm. I definitely like the way the backbone is like controlling this space a lot. You, I'm rarely seeing them overextend. Like it's they're they're deliberately doing a thing where they aren't they literally aren't giving up the center of the stage. Strong moves off the side, okay, so I'm gonna back up to here and then they're gonna reset, go back to the middle. And just yeah. literally it is a game of not even necessarily I'm gonna keep you off stage, I'm gonna keep you out of my zone. They are pressing play, playing the long game. They're just saying, mm. hey, you know what? Overall, I'm going to win anyway. So just let me it could take time, but this is going to be a good me to take the end of the day. Oh no, not again. Oh. Why is everyone saying Oh. <laughs> it's because it. Uh, okay, man. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair, it's not like Strong Pig is drowning. We're saying that Backbone feels like they're going to win. But Strong Pig, he is playing really confident here. I like the use of the up to there. It's a very fast, snappy kill move. Tries to find back air after back air. We've seen one almost kills. So you know, the next one probably is going to do the work. But Backbone is just refusing to go down yet. Yeah, that's 61%, and it's only going higher and higher. Strong Pig finally finds the hit. The Gordo just raw kill it. Yeah, going for the blind spot here with that Gordo going to get a kill quite early, if I may say. Only 71%, and we were talking about how. Oh my goodness. This is a very good punish. Ha ha! Take those 24%. But yeah, we're talking about the way Backbone want to play the long game. Seems like Strong Pig decided to uh, just press on the accelerator for once, and how is it going to go? That's the question. Yeah, and time will tell. It's a lot more even than it was earlier. It's definitely worth noting that. Strong Pig is not drowning. We both said the long game, and Strong Pig is playing the same thing. That he's not just like rushing in. That was, yeah. Yeah, he wanted to go with the kill with that. Dash attack, not going to connect this time around, but you see already the idea, and I do respect the vision that Strong Pig is offering here for this end of game three. It's going to be enough. He takes the lead this time around. And at 94%, next fair could be enough if we were to go oh. for the dead guard this time. No right. Gordo to, to for the edge guard, to for the less trap, sorry. Strongly's relying really heavily on Gordo and I like it because you, you're you acknowledging the fact that this game is a more slower paced one. So you're using that to play your neutral round. You're kind of gaining yourself a little bit of stage control off the back of Backbone and then trying to find your way in as you're forcing Backbone to deal with the oncoming Gordo. And it's working. It's the percent that's being tacked up and up. And we've seen this. No way! Worst tether in the game, by the way. Congratulations. You outplayed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he outplayed himself this time around, trying to again, try to get that DDD out of his way by using both of his arms, and you were saying, you were talking about it earlier. If you use all your ammo, you're going to be in a pretty tight spot. And this is mm -hmm. literally what just happened there, putting himself in an end lag because of the second affair, I think. And yeah. Because of it. So it was the end lag because of that, followed up by the fact that Min Min's uh, tether is more like it's better horizontally than it is vertically. So the moment that you fall a bit too like low below the stage, it even got buffed at one point, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's just curtains if you commit to too much off stage on her. She's not like a joker, she's not like a byleth. She has to be aware of her resource. So good good clutch here. Yeah. By strong pick. Definitely. It is a good penguin, we'll make it. What's happening behind us? I do see a Jigglypuff. No, it's not a Jigglypuff, is it? Sean from school versus Vespa Team, like so that one. is Jigglypuff versus Pokemon Trainer. Ah indeed. Yes. I have better high side than I do. 